Lord gave me, I believe He gave it to me. And it says this, You, you prepare for me the table. Your shed blood crying better things than that of Abel. So I come, the grandest of earthly invitations. I come to you, this most holy visitation. Away from the table, swirls a dark storm. They hiss in this evil swarm. The accusers and dark foes dart to and fro, distract with words that malign and lie. Their one aim to maim, to steal, to destroy the apple of his eye. But this is the holy place of safety. Hey. And I come with a freed heart, incredibly loved, no longer guilty. A refuge from the storm, the enemy. Welcomed by Jesus to join in the heavenly symphony. At the table, the cup of your covenant lifted high. All your qualities ingested. No more strife, no more sigh. The bread of your broken body I consume. I draw nearer, deeper to reach your heart. Finally, I consume a commune. Praise God, the darkness cannot penetrate. Your table, a place of safety. I draw near, I meditate. All forgiven, no longer guilty. The grave defeated, no foe can enter, says the Lord God Almighty. And it's in this place, a place of safety. Safety is you, Lord God, waiting for me. Me, waiting to partake and feast. Feast upon you, which makes me strong. Strong in my weakness, my weakness makes me strong. I believe that when we, I think of Psalm 23, 5, where it says he prepares a table in the midst of our enemies. Amen. Yes. And I believe that when we come to this table, sometimes we go through the motions of receiving the bread and the juice and the wine. But I believe the Lord wants us to come recognizing that it is a refuge, it is a place of refuge. And I, I dare to challenge us that we might partake of this even in our private devotions to the Lord. That's right. Because we need Him. Yes, we do. And in the present, if you need healing for your in any part of your body, the Lord will extend that to you. Just simply receive and ask, receive and ask, receive and ask. I remember a few weeks ago, a few months ago, it was the most awesome communion service I'd ever experienced. And I've walked with the Lord since I was six years old. And it was in this church. And it was sort of what sealed it for me. That this is my place. This is my home to serve God. And I just remember there was only two stations established here. And we all came forward. And there was just, there was something of celebration. There was something of jubilation. There was something of just it's the way it should be that we come and we just partake of Him. We feast and we draw from Him His grace and all that we need. Hallelujah. Don't be like my friend last week. I'll explain. The silver goblet is the wine. She did not know it was wine. It's the first time ever uh, tasting wine in her life. She did the bread nice and deep. <laughs> so, silver goblet is wine. The glass is the juice. If the servant would please come forward. There'll be four stations. You did the bread into either one, especially you get the right one. Father, I just, I just thank you for your presence here. I pray that this table that you established. It was your covenant that you ratified with your blood. And Lord, we thank you for that. And we proclaim, Lord, we just we partake of this. And we thank you for that great grace that you give to each of us. Even in the midst of our enemies. Even though the enemy may be darting to and fro, wanting to destroy. And yet, we look to you. For you are our refuge and our strength. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.